I am the God that healeth thee. I am the Lord, your healer. I sent my word and healed your disease. I am the Lord, your healer. You're welcome. I'm so glad you could join us to fellowship with the Lord today. Isn't it wonderful that we can fellowship and worship God in the comfort of our home? I thank God for that privilege. Let us pray. In Jesus' name, Father, I thank you for the privilege of life. Thank you for the opportunity to worship you even at this time. Holy Spirit, please take over our service today and may it be a wonderful time with you in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's go and worship God. Join me. We'll be looking at our teaching for today, which says, God will take care of you. God will take care of me. You may be facing a lot of challenge at this time, and it's as if you are in the middle of nowhere, and help may not be coming from anywhere, and you are asking, can God see me where I am? Will I be able to come out of this challenge? Our Bible text is taken from Exodus chapter 15, verse 26, and it reads, and said, if you diligently heed the voice of the Lord your God and do what is right in his sight, give ear to his commandments and keep all his status. I will put none of the diseases on you which I have brought on the Egyptians, for I am the Lord who heals you. Our Bible verse is taken from 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24, which reads, Who himself bore our sins in his own body on the tree, that we, having died to sins, might live for righteousness, by whose stripes you were healed. Now, children, you are going to repeat this Bible verse over and over to yourself until you memorize it. Make sure you put it to heart. Our Bible story is captioned, kept safe by the power of God and is taken from Exodus 7 to 12. The children of Israel have suffered untold hardship in the hand of Pharaoh. They were in bondage. They were suffering. Do you know that that is how the devil tries to put man in the bondage of sin, in the bondage of pain and sickness. When Moses went to Pharaoh to ask for the children of Israel to be released from bondage, Pharaoh stubbornly refused to release the children of Israel. That is how the devil will never leave anyone, release anyone from the bondage of sin or sickness without a fight. But are you going to allow the devil Because Pharaoh refused to allow the children of Israel to leave Egypt from bondage, he sent the plagues, ten of them. Number one was water turning into blood, all the rivers, the pond, even the drinking water in Egypt all turned to blood. The next came the frogs, the whole land was invaded by frogs, the streets, their homes, their bedroom, everywhere, even their body, the frogs invaded the whole land. The next came the lice, the whole land 
human beings and animals were all eaten up by lice. Next came flies all over the land, all over the land of Egypt was invaded by flies. And the next plague, which is the plague of the animals, the animals were all diseased and they were dying. The next came sore and boils all over the, the people, including Pharaoh. Yet Pharaoh was still stubborn. The whole land and animals were all, you know, invaded by boils all over their body. Yet Pharaoh refused to allow the children of Israel to go. Plague number seven was hail. Fell all over the land of Egypt, killing animals and human beings, especially those found outside. The next came the locusts eating up their plants and um, vegetation. Yet Pharaoh refused to allow the children of Israel to go. And then God sent darkness. The night plague was darkness. For three whole days, nobody could move. Darkness all over the land of Egypt. The next plague, which is plague number 10, was going to be the death of every first born in Egypt. Because Pharaoh refused to allow the children of Israel to leave, the angel of death visited Egypt and all the firstborn, including animals and human beings, died. There was so much cry and wailing in the land of Egypt. Now, children and, and you viewers at home, the interesting thing about this whole drama is the fact that the children of Israel, though they were in Egypt, were kept safe from all the plagues that happened. The Bible recorded that in Goshen, where the children of Israel settled, none of these things happened. That shows you that. Just like our topic says today, God will keep me and you safe. He will keep you safe, even at this time where there's coronavirus pandemic all over the land. You will be safe. The Bible says in Psalm 91, Say, two a thousand shall fall by your side, and ten thousand at your right hand. The Lord will keep you safe. It will not come near you. So what do I do to keep safe? Yes, God is interested in my safety, but there's something he wants me to do. Number one, you become his child by asking Jesus to come into your life and saving you. He will do that. He will come in once you allow him in. Number two is that you need to know what God is saying to you per second by per second. Know his word. Take the Bible and read. Moses was following the instruction of God during that time. Remember when he told them, kill the lamb and mark the blood at the doorpost. When the angel of death comes, and sees the blood, he will pass because Moses listened to God and they took the instruction. That was why the angel of death could not come near them. God wants you to know his word, so read his word. Number three is that you don't need to be afraid. Trust God. He's more interested in your safety than you are. Trust him and he will keep you safe. Now we are going to pray. If you are making a decision for the Lord, it's time for you to pray. If you have given your life to Jesus before, but you want him to keep you safe, it's time for us to pray. So close your eyes and let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, as many who are making a decision for you to become your child today, Father, please accept them into the kingdom and write them into the book of life. And Lord, I pray that everyone listening to me now and fellowshipping with us at this time, may your safety be our, our our shield in the name of jesus christ we are kept safe from every form of pandemic thank you father because i know you have answered in jesus name we are prayed
Pharaoh, the Lord God has commanded you to let his people go. Ah, the Lord God of trickery again. Out of my way, Moses, or I'll trample you. Behold his power. And Moses did as the Lord commanded. He lifted up his staff in the sight of Pharaoh and struck the waters and all the river turned to blood. Throughout all the land of Egypt, the waters turned to blood and the fish died and the river stank and the Egyptians could not drink. Another clumsy bit of magic? Fine, you poison the water. I don't need to drink water when I have wine. Your heart is hard, Pharaoh, but my God is stronger. The Lord God has instructed me. I will show you that he is the one true God. Pharaoh, cousin, let my people go. This doesn't have to happen. Your people will suffer. Some will die. Enough! Pharaoh is the only God you have to fear, Moses. You'll be the one to die, cousin. And he hit the dust of the earth with his staff, and the dust became lice. Pharaoh's magicians could do nothing. They were lice upon man and beast. Pharaoh hears, but does not listen, Lord. And frogs came up out of the river and spread over the land and they died in the houses in heaps. Frogs? This is all his god has to torment me with? Frogs? <laughs> <laughs> then there came swarms of flies. The cattle died and the land stank. Flies are nothing, Moses. Moses does bad tricks. Exactly. Bad tricks are nothing more. <laughs> then, the people of Egypt were stricken with sores. Only the children of Israel were spared. This is the finger of God. We've called for Moses. He's here, right now. Perhaps Pharaoh could get him to ask his God to leave us alone. I am God. Never forget that. Yes, Pharaoh. We're sorry, Pharaoh. Ugh. These are worse than the lice and the flies. They speak wisely, Pharaoh. All of this will cease only when you do as the Lord God commands. Let my people go. Release them from their bondage. Leave this place or die. But Pharaoh would not listen. So Moses stretched his hand towards heaven and the Lord rained hail upon the land. Fire ran along the ground. Then locusts came to destroy the crops. Then, a darkness came from God. For three days, the earth was covered by darkness. There was only light in Goshen, and the green things slowly died. Moses! His God is destroying your kingdom. The crops die. The cattle die. Please send for him, O oh great Pharaoh. Bring me Moses. Take this death from my 
my kingdom! Ramses, how long will you wait before you see that this is all God's will? Don't hurt your people anymore. God commands you to let his people go. You've seen what the Lord God can do. Don't think that you are greater than God. Who is this God of yours, Moses? The Lord God of Abraham and of Isaac and of Jacob. His name! His name! Jehovah! I know no such name! I know no such God! If you don't want to see your people slain, leave this house! The Lord God will bring one more plague upon Egypt. Tonight at midnight, the Lord will descend upon your kingdom. He will kill every firstborn son, from the rich to the poor in your dungeons. Only the children of Israel will be spared. Tomorrow you shall set them free as your great nation mourns and asks, Why didn't Pharaoh heed the words of the Lord God? You are banished from this house! Banished! If I ever see your face again, I'll kill you! I will mourn your loss, Ramses. Goodbye, Pharaoh. Father, I'm the firstborn. I'm afraid. Don't be. This man is nothing. His God is nothing. His people are nothing. Then why am I still scared? Then Moses called for all the elders of Israel, and he said to them, God has spoken to me. This day is the beginning of your journey to the Promised Land. Tonight, you must eat nothing but unleavened bread and the meat of lamb. Let each of you take the blood of the lamb and mark your doors, and don't leave your homes until morning. For tonight, the Lord God will come, and he will deal with your oppressors, and will shield you from the destroyer. When death sees the mark of lamb's blood on your doors, he will pass over your homes. He will not hurt any of you. But once we leave this land, you must remember and celebrate this night. This night of the Passover. And the people did as the Lord commanded. pass as Moses said. All the firstborn of Egypt were struck. There was not a house where there was not one dead. And a great cry rose up. Oh great God Ra! No! Not my son! Not my son! Find Moses! Get me Moses! 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 All the Hebrews of Goshen were spared. My friend, I'm so sorry. You are not my friend. Say nothing to me. Go, take your people and go. Take our riches, I don't care. Serve your God and be gone. We will go. The sons and daughters, the young and the old, the flocks and the herds will go. We all have seen that the Lord God Jehovah lives. Moses, I will not forget what you have done to my kingdom. 
and to me. Put his word on your lips tonight. Sing his word back to him. And see if his name isn't more powerful than cancer, than heart disease, 